we continue our discussion on hemophilia well now we, i'll be talking to you regarding von willebrand disease and it is also known as autosomal hemophilia first of all it is the most common hereditary bleeding disorder okay and gene for this is located in chromosome 12 and it is as i told you it is autosomal disorder in contrast when we talk about hemophilia A, which was X-linked recessive disorder. Well, we have type 1, which is a quantitative def deficiency of von Willebrand uh, factor. In type 2, we have a qualitative deficiency of von Willebrand factor and, uh, and type 2B. They are autosomal dominant type. But type 2C and 3, they are autosomal recessive. That's why overall von Willebrand disease is now known as autosomal hemophilia that's a new name but before i proceed further i like to tell you some basic concept uh, about factor 8 factor 8 as such is not a single part it is a combination of two factor 8 it is made of factor 8 c plus 1 bilibrand factor these two together make factor 8 and whenever we call, and we all know very well von Willebrand factor is involved both in clotting as well as uh, as well as in platelet plug formation so that's why when factor 8c is deficiency this occur in hemophilia a that will lead to prolonged clotting time but when there is deficiency of von Willebrand factor there is increased clotting time plus increased bleeding time also Now, what are the clinical feature of this case? Patient usually has superficial bruising, epistaxis, menorrhagia, or some GI bleed. Okay, but this is usually after trauma or surgery. Heme arthrosis is rare. Why it is so important to talk about this line? We know very well one of the commonest sites of bleeding in hemophilia A is knee joint. That's why in hemophilia A, heme arthrosis is a major manifestation, but this does not happen in von Willebrand disease. Now, how to investigate this case? As I told you, BT and CT are prolonged both. Von Willebrand factor 8 is, uh, is reduced, and this is also known as factor 8 antigen. And as I told you, factor 8 is made of two things, 8C and von Willebrand factor. If this will be deficient, so there will be secondary deficiency of factor 8 also. But remember, platelet count is normal. It's so thrombocytopenia is not a feature in this case. PT is prolonged, but PTT is prolonged. This is due to factor 8 deficiency. A platelet aggregation tour in response to Ristocetin is reduced. This is one of the most important line for any exam that you should know. Now, before I discuss more about, let me tell you some basic concept about platelet aggregation studies. When we do platelet aggregation study, let's, let's learn some basic concepts of platelet. aggregation now let me give you a very line diagram the type of explanation here is the here is the slide and let's say these are the platelets and if i add certain molecules or certain substance which can lead to clumping of these platelet and this molecule we use to study platelet aggregation. What molecule we use, what compound we use, we use ristocetin. Number two, we use ADP, we use collagen, we use thrombin, okay, right? So they are the four things which we can, if you add, let's say I have added uh, ADP. 
And now the clumping of platelet will happen. Platelet will clump like this. When I added ADP or same thing, anything, collagen or so remember these molecules we use to study platelet aggregation study. Any of one of them, A, C, thrombin or estrocetin. But in this case, aggregation will happen with ADP collagen thrombin. But if you add restocetin, aggregation will not happen. Right? Got it? So restocetin act like a artificial endothelium. Why? I, I hope you remember that one believe one factor is released from endothelium. Right? So even I can make the subject more simple. Just think these are the iron particles. Iron particles. And this ADP or collagen or thrombin or estrocytic, it like, act like a magnet. Okay. So any one of them is acting like a magnet. And once you put a magnet and they come and make a clump like this. But remember, in von Willebrand disease, magnet restocetin is not effective, but magnet, ADP, collagen, and thrombin are effective. I think you have understood the basic concept about platelet aggregation. Well, now we have to manage the case. Uh, in this case, we DDP desnopressin is the best initial treatment, but it is used for mild bleeding. And as I told you, von Willebrand factor is released from the subendothelial store of von Willebrand factor, or it is released from endothelium. In case of severe bleeding, we can give factor eight concentrate, which contain adequate von Willebrand factor also. Why? Now I don't need to tell you the reason because von Willebrand factor is a part of factor eight. Cryoprecipitate contain all all of the von Willebrand factor multimer is safe and, and most cost effective mode of treatment. Fresh frozen plasma can be given for mild disease, but of course patients should not take aspirin because the problem lies in platelet aggregation as well as uh, clotting also. Now let me compare, as I'm talking to you, let's compare factor 1 billy 1 factor and factor 8C. Remember, these two together make factor 8. So let's compare these two co part of or component of factor 8. As far as 1 billy 1 factor is concerned, it is chromosome 12 but it is X chromosome. That's why it is a autosomal disease and it is a X-linked recessive disorder. Mainly dominant, of course, some variety are recessive also, but mainly in a broad term, we say dominant and this is sex link. Synthesis, it is in endothelial cell, megakaryocyte, platelet, but not in liver cell. This is important negative point you got to remember. And this is in liver cell, right? Let me make you more simple. This is the endothelium. And this is the platelet, OK? Now this uh, platelet get attached to injured endothelium via one Willebrand factor. So too easy to remember, because one Willebrand factor is attaching or uh, getting a teca attached uh, platelet and endothelium. So it is released from both platelet as well as endothelium. I hope now it is easy, easier for you to remember the source of von Willebrand factor, but it is in the liver. As I told you, it facilitate the addition of platelet to endothelial collagen and it is for coagulation. Disease is von Willebrand disease and this lead to hemophilia A. Now, let till now I uh, discuss the von Willebrand factor and factor 8C. Now, let me compare the two diseases, von Willebrand disease and hemophilia A. It is dominant, x -ling. Factor 8 concentrate, 8C is normal, it is reduced. Von Willebrand factor decrease normal and common feature are mild bleeding, okay. Uh, it is never severe bleeding. Hemarthrosis is very rare, it is uncommon, but hemarthrosis is very common 
and major bleeding can occur in hemophilia A. And few more things, I think one of the most important thing is bleeding time is prolonged, head is normal. But clotting time is, is increased in, uh, in both and PTT is prolonged, prolonged. And one more thing, platelet aggregation in response to restocytin is decreased and normal. If I ask you, I think this is the most important line you got to remember and second is this one. And remember, clotting time is normal, uh, clotting time is increased, clotting time is increased in both the cases. Okay. Well, there are a few more important points other than the hemophilia. We have a one term called parahemophilia. It's a recessive disorder due to factor 5 deficiency. Prolonged P PT is, and of course, prolonged PTT may also be there in these cases. And hemophilia C, factor 11 deficiency, recessive PTT is increased, PT is normal. There are additional things that you should know than uh, in addition to hemophilia A and B. Now we talk about hemophilia B. Is also known as Christmas disease. This is due to factor 9 deficiency. It's again an X-linked recessive disorder just like hemophilia A, which is due to factor 8 deficiency. The client sign and symptom, easy bruising, hematuria, epistaxis, and hemarthrosis may occur, just like the way we have in hemophilia A. So bleeding score we talk about BT will be normal in this case, CT will be prolonged, okay, similarly PTT will be prolonged, correlation tests, but, but I told you, and factor SA, you have to go and analyze, look for the factor 9, and factor 9 level will be reduced in these cases. Treatment, we, in this case, we tend to give prothrombin complex concentrate. What is this? They are pooled, virus inactivated human plasma product, and what they contain, they contain vitamin K dependent factor 27910. How to remember? N uh, 1972. This is for factor 10, 972. This is the how a mnemonic is there to remember factor uh, vitamin K dependent factor. And it, it also contains thrombo inhibitor protein C and protein S. This uh, prothrombin complex concentrate. And this PCC is used in, where else we use? We use in vitamin K antagonist reversal. So you can say to antagonize the warfare in effect to be more precise. And it's also used in treatment and perioperative prophylaxis for bleed in acquired deficiency of prothrombin complex coagulation factor like 27910. So by and large, you can say in a very summary, wherever we find Deficiency of 27910, the PCC is the best uh, to give. Now, let us compare hemophilia A with hemophilia B. So, there is in A, there is a deficiency of, of hemoca factor uh, 8. 8 is nothing but a combination of 8C and von Willebrand factor. In B, we have a deficiency of 9. Intrinsic pathway is affected, intrinsic pathway, that's why clotting time is increased in both. Bleeding time is normal in both the cases. PTT is increased, PT is normal, platelet count normal, both echling recessive disorder. This is not effective. This is the main thing. PCC is not effective in factor 8. Why? Because factor 8 is not vitamin K dependent. This is effective. And similarly, desmopressin is effective here. It is not effective. So these two are the main points that you got to remember regarding differences between hemophilia A and B. Well, a quick re uh, recap of the last minute revision point. Okay. Von Willebrand disease is a autosomal hemophilia, chromosome 12, prolonged PT and CT. Platelet aggregation in response to restocytin is reduced, but it is normal to ADP, collagen, and thrombin. Desmopressin uh, is the treatment. Cryopassivity can be given. Hemophilia B is due to factor 9 deficiency. Again, excessive disorder, but we treat by giving both thrombin complex concentrate. Thank you very much for watching this video.